So technically that should just be... I think so, yeah. towards making those next projects. Um, as part of the course, we asked the students to come up with really innovative ideas for what might be the future of publishing. So you'll have to make your minds up about whether you think those ideas will stay or not. Um, so the first group that we have up is going to talk about something called Jump In, which is their idea of mixed, mixed reality and virtual reality technologies. And the second group is going to be using um, geolocator technology as part of their new product as well. And so I won't take up any more of the time. I'm going to hand over to my lovely students. Hello, I'm Brian E. This is Alice, Josh, Ella and Claire and we're here to, pre to present our idea, Jump In. It's books that incorporate both mixed reality and virtual reality, but we believe that physical books are really important for children's education and children in general. So our idea of inspiration came from Mary Poppins when you jump straight into the pictures on the pavement. And we've asked in our market research some of the parents and teachers that believe that an actual physical book is a really tactile appeal for children. So when you look at a book you see a story, a world of knowledge and an adventure. So I'll now pass over. Okay, so one of the ideas we're going to use for our book is virtual reality and it's Google VR. When you hear virtual reality you just think how expensive is it going to be. 
Um, these headsets are around £15. You can make them yourself with the cardboard, buy the lenses and then just use your smartphone to use it. They're economically friendly, friendly and quite cheap to buy. Um, alternatively, you can use mixed reality. Okay, so for the other end of the market, the higher end, we are introducing mixed reality. Um, a little bit about the difference. Uh, first, augmented reality, uh, the things like Pokemon Go, that puts the virtual world on top of the real world. Um, virtual reality is just virtual in its own sense, and then mixed reality is a kind of combination of the two that you can interact with. Um, so we imagine using Microsoft HoloLens for this idea, and um, as you can see here from the um, app, we did it using, using AR technology originally, but we sort of kind of got in the way of turning the pages we really wanted, again, like Brian that tactile sense of reading. So according to Nielsen, study books are most important, uh, most popular for children aged between 13 and 16, and we want to use this to incorporate this in education and create non-fiction books using this idea. The idea is that it, it, it enhances reading, sorry, <laughs> and it makes it a more ex interactive experience and it links the school and home life together and if the parents are really busy then the children can have this interactive experience that make up for lots of that. So these are example covers um, for jumping. Um, designed by myself, I worked with a really simple iconic design but keep them quite eye catching as well. So this is a double page spread of how the history book would look. Um, this is what the child would see in the book, and then this is what they would see in the headset. So once the child has read a paragraph or a page, then there will be a button on the book, and they can press this, and this will, this will, like, it will activate the visuals, and then this, will, this is what they'll see in the headset. So they'll see Henry VIII moving around his banquet hall, and then this will reinforce what they've just learned about. So this is an example spread from Jumping Music from the classical music chapter on Beethoven and it will be used in conjunction with the MR headset in that it will communicate with the QR code and the headset will load up the appropriate content and the user will interact with the book in a way that they will touch certain parts of it and things will happen so they will touch the text and it will be read to them with the important words lit up and there will be certain icons throughout the book so when they touch them certain things will happen so if they just play a button, music will play and along the bottom will be a piano that um, work like a real piano and there will also be instructions throughout the book which will um, tell the user how to interact with the content Okay, so in terms of fiction, we were on this idea of a kind of read and reward process. We thought that we could, in terms of mixed reality, this be a great way of encouraging children to start reading and stay reading, but also encourage non readers, especially to, uh, as you all know, the children, uh, children readers now become the book heavy book buyers of the future, and that helps the publishing market to stay buoyant. Um, so, with this process of read and reward, we really hope to compete against the other technologies at the moment that are competing for children's attention. So with the fiction books, it works especially well for books that are like C.S. Lewis's um, Alan Chronicles of Narnia. So when Lucy opens the wardrobe, you would step into Narnia with Lucy with the virtual reality around you. Um, we can't judge how quick people read, so it would change every time you turn the page, there would be sensors in it that would change the virtual reality world around you. Um, for mixed reality, that would be books that have maps and stuff, as you can see Neverland map on there, so it would bring the map up on the page of the book so you could physically move that around and zoom in on closer places to get more information and have more of an interactive experience, but you still need the physical book to make it work. In terms of how it would actually work, we envision using um, pictorial recognition technology. Um, in this sense it works kind of like a QR code for an app or uh, any other kind of reader. Um, but in this sense, we envision using the um, MR headset to have the pre stored content on. So, in that sense, you wouldn't have a connection to the internet, it would already pre load in that sense. Okay, so we completed some market research. We asked teachers, teaching assistants, and parents with young children and children in the 13 to 16 age bracket to answer some questions for us. Um, so, this one says, Would you be happy if all children's books became digital? As you can see, quite a high percentage of people said no, which just reinforces the point of we do not want to get rid of physical books. It's important for children to have that turn in the page, learning how to care for books. 
um, we also asked, do you think physical books are important for children's education? Again, it was really reinforced that people like this idea, which is why we've gone for educational books. Would you be happy to let virtual reality technology help children with homework? We had a lot of people that said occasionally, so we've said that yes. Parents don't always have the time to spend with the children doing homework, and it's nice to have that interaction while still learning. We asked David Roach, head of the London Book Fair, what he thought about our idea, and he said the line between games, apps, books, and other ways of telling the story is grey and getting greyer. Anything that gets kids reading has to be a good thing, but the important thing is that the enhanced reality stuff has to be good content, which is why we've tried so hard to make this uh, appropriate for the age bracket. So to summarise, Jumping is a series of books which will enhance the reading and learning experience of children through the use of mixed and virtual reality technology. We'll be using Google VR and Microsoft HoloLens. Um, it will exist as non-fiction books and um, textbooks to use in schools to make learning more interactive and immersive. And for fiction books, um, we want to really encourage uh, reading for pleasure because we believe that, as we said, that uh, printed books are um, really important for children and their education, which has been shown in our market research. Um, we've been jumping and we'll pass you over to Geo's story now. Children to use. On the right, we can see an example page from an ebook, 
So this shows you where you are and where you need to go for the story to continue. We think this is a good chance for children to explore their local area and also learn local history and geography, which is on the national curriculum. Um, we would like to start the app in Lancashire and partner with Northern companies and also libraries and um, eventually roll out to the rest of the UK. Um, so, a main question we assume is how does this work? Uh, very similar to Pokemon Go, we're thinking of using something like Google Maps uh, that will track the location of a smartphone or a tablet and it will integrate with the map within the app uh, and ensure that the content reflects your location. Uh, we've done some estimated costings for an app like this and it shows us figures between 23 and £120,000. So we're also looking into funding opportunities at the moment. Um, we're also planning to work closely with the beta testers and uh, children in the target market to ensure that the product is as best as it can be and just, um, designed according to what they want in such an app. Um, we've got a quote here from John Mills of uh, UCLan saying that if a product or idea is born of the people, people are more likely to adopt it and we really believe in this kind of idea as well. Uh, we estimated a launch between June and October 2018, which is uh, including a 20% risk factor um, in terms of anything goes wrong, lack of funding and all of that. Um, and to briefly sum up, Chill Story is an app that uses dual location to shape the narrative of stories, to encourage children to read more in new ways. And our aim is really to encourage reading for fun as well as for education. Um, for children in the target market. Um, so I'd just like to thank you for listening to us. Um.